Gauntlet of Shah. I can't believe it. I can't believe we found the Dark Lady's sacred crucible. Hey guys, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. As Shadowheart so perfectly introduced us, we are currently in the Gauntlet of Shah. Let's ask her what she knows about this place. The Gauntlet of Shah is no ordinary temple. It is the highest test of the Dark Lady's faithful. To judge if they are worthy of becoming a Dark Justicia. The Gauntlet has double meaning. It speaks of the ordeals to be overcome, and of the armor-clad fist of Lady Shah that would embrace the worthy. Survive the crushing gauntlet, and be embraced by the Night Singer at its very core. The old ways were lost over time. Now some claim the rank simply by killing a single saloon knight. But before, they were a true elite. Many would attempt the trials, but few would succeed. There you go. We got a nice lore dump from Shadowheart. Um, you said before that you wanted to become a Dark Justicier. What does that mean to you? Everything, potentially. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a Dark Justicier is to become the Night Singer's sword arm. Her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, Mother, I should add. The Mother Superior. Head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... inscrutable. Hmm, I don't under- no. I'll say, do you think she'll ever relent and make you a Dark Justice here? I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate. Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion. A distraction. But for this, I hope my time will yet come. Man, being a uh, part of Lady Shah's religion really seems like what do you even get what is the benefit you're not allowed hope you don't really get rewarded your memories are taken away uh anyway thank you for sharing so it seems Kethrick thorm did all he did for his daughter isabel almost understandable i guess that almost is doing a great deal of heavy lifting that man changes allegiances more frequently than a courtesan changes their bedsheets. Oh, snap! At least he's proof you can turn from Shah and live to tell the tale. Though, some may not call that living. Shadowheart just casually reading Kethrick Thorm down to the dirt. Alright, so anyway, that was a good prelude into what we're going to be doing today. First up, uh, there's multiple rooms we have to go in. Multiple um, facets to this gauntlet. And the first one her most vaunted treasure. just has a cryptic note outside her most vaunted treasure. So let's see what we need to do inside. It's called the Soft Step Trial. Someone is dead at the entrance, so that's a perfect welcome. Sacrificial Bowl. The bowl contains an ancient rust-colored blood stain. It forms a neat disc, as if spilled calmly and willingly. Classic Shar. Lady Shah's trials. Allow me. It's important. Always wants a blood sacrifice. All right, as you wish. <laughs> I love how the knife just stuck on her butt there. And can still obtain what they want. Okay, so is a virtue derived from her very essence. So this is a stealth trial. If that's the case, we probably all shouldn't go at once. I'm going to gonna split Shadowheart from the team, and then she has some abilities that'll make her uh, more stealthy. Let's see, where are they? Disguise self? 
I mean, I don't know if a disguise is really going to work here. Cloak of Shadows. There we go. Now, let's see if we can get through here. Oh! Oh! Who even saw me? I literally thought I I was getting through there completely unseen. To try again. Well, on the plus side, here's a button. Okay, I got seen again, but I pressed the button. Do I need to cloud myself in shadows? Yeah, I need to do that again, I think. Cloak of shadows. Wait for this one to turn around. Luckily, we can see them move on the mini-map, so that helps. Alright, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go! Whew! Make it? I mean, we did, but the door is locked. Do you think there's a way to open the door, or should we just pick the door? That's the real question. I'm just gonna try to lockpick it. Oh, shadow hurt. Come on. Rolling a nine when you need a ten. Let's try one more time. Twenty-two. Wow, she made up for it on the second one. All right. We're in. Is that it? Did I win? There's the emerald gem. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. There's some inspirational texts on the walls. First up, Lady Shar's words of guile. To be unseen is to be welcomed everywhere. Next, Lady Shar's words of wisdom. No, no words of wisdom? I'm pressing use, but she's not giving me any words of wisdom, so... No words of wisdom for us. This one's destroyed. Like that once bore the teachings of Lady Shar, but now unreadable. That's rude. And what do we got about words of daring? Nothing from this one either. <laughs> All right, anyway, we came uh, and did what we had to do, so let's get out of here. That's trial number one complete. That wasn't too bad. Looks like there was a few different ways we could have came in here, but this way seemed like it was the most straightforward, so I think I might have made the right decision. Hey guys, I'm back. I completed the trial. I got the orb. Let's uh, group us all up again. Get Gladys to lead the way to the next trial. Mm -hmm. Alright, I guess this is next. Her most hallowed mercy. Interesting. Self same trial. It's another sacrificial bowl. Shadowheart, will you do the honors? The bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Another trial. I need to do this same as before. All you. Mm. Lady teaches us that we are our own worst enemy much of the time. Her embrace will elude us until we shed that which holds us back. Okay, that's cryptic. I'm gonna F5 before we go in here. Never go wrong by saving too much in this game, is what I've learned. What do you think? Is something gonna jump out and try to attack us? I smell a trap. A trap? What kind of trap? Oh, there's an enemy up there. Yeah, I see them on the minimap. All right. Oh, wow. We have to fight the shadows of ourselves. Interesting. Okay. Well, luckily they didn't... Um, they weren't able to surprise us because we perceived them before they attacked. But yeah, look, there's Shadow Carlac, Shadow Shadow Heart. Shadow Halfling, which I guess is Gladys. <laughs> and, uh, Shadow Asterion. 
so spooky. We gotta fight against ourselves. All right. Karlak, you ready to fight Shadowheart? Bye bye. She said, hell yeah, I'm ready. Woo! Two hits and Shadowheart is down. Sorry, Shadowheart. I probably shouldn't be so uh, excited. <laughs> All right. Who do we got next? I guess Gladys will fight Gladys. Oh, I don't have enough movement. Crap. Okay. Well, if that's the case, let's instead heal myself. And vertically inspire Garlac. Not great how that can just turn into spooky shadows. Watch this. Nice, man. Karlak is so good. She's just wrecking everyone. That's two shadows down already. All right, Gladys. Use your finest dissonant whispers on the shadow version of yourself. Nice. That's good because it also broke concentration, so our friends aren't hypnotized anymore. On my way. Starion uses extra move it so we can get up close and personal with Shadow Gladys. Stay focused. And Shadow Heart. Is going to Misty Step up here. And she is going to use Inflict Wounds. Oh! Immune to necrotic damage. That makes sense, because she's a shadow. Ah, that's my bad there. Oh, there's Shadow Karlak. I was wondering where she was. I feel like we hadn't seen her in a while. All right, it's four on two. I like our odds. Ow! That was rude. Karlak, time to fight yourself. So strange. Not ideal. I'm assuming I can't vampire bite. Yeah, because he's... She's technically undead. Alright. I don't know if we're going to be able to get an angle to hit them. Yeah. I don't think we are. Darn. Alright. That's okay. We'll just uh, use this turn to dash. Get back up there. Then we can uh, heal Karlak. Shadow Karlak looks to be just as angry as regular Karlak. Nice! The Cloud of Daggers took out Shadow Gladys. One left. Whoa! Shadow Karlag did not like that. That did so much damage. Alright, real Karlag. Finish her! Nice! Well, that was kind of weird. Apparently Gladys was inspired by fighting herself, which is uh, weird, but anyway. We got our Umbral Gem. 
And uh, we can keep moving through these trials. So, so far, well, we've only got two, so we have a small sample size, but so far everyone has been quite different. First one was a stealth challenge, the second one a combat challenge. We'll have to see what the third one has in store for us. I was just looking around to make sure there was no loot or anything, but this room does seem to be pretty empty besides the skeletons of those who failed the trial. All he had on him was some bones, so uh, let's get out of here. Looks like we gotta head down past the great lady's bosom <laughs> for our next challenge. Well, let's see what we got. Her most sacred path. Oh, there's more rats here. What is going on with the rats? Join an army. Became an army. Leave! Well, Darley, what is happening with the rats down here? I have no idea, but they are intense. Okay. Got a spooky, uh, statue here. And next is the Faith Leap Trial. Alright, Shadowheart, you know what to do. Another bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Another trial. Allow me, please. All yours. This year's was said to be sure of foot in even the darkest recesses of Lady Charles' embrace. I must remember where to step. And have faith that she will guide me. Oh, it's like an invisible floor. And have faith that she will guide me. How are we gonna know where to go? Oh, you can kind of see it. You can you can see it here. Oh. Oh, sh Asterion literally died. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to have to split up the party for this one then, so people don't literally fall to their deaths. Hang on, Asterion. I'll get you back, Shadowheart. This is going to be all you. Okay. It looked like this was the right path. Path, path, path. Path, path. Path, path, path. Yeah, I think Asterion just fell off. You can see the path here. It's just very, very faint. Uh, oh, I must need to stop at all these different ones. Because there's a shadow barrier there at the end. Blinded. Oh, Shadowheart fell to a lethal blow. Okay, I'm a little confused as to uh, what I'm supposed to do here. I think the lights are out, so I think maybe we need to start from the very beginning. A little help, please. You're all good. Another bowl, another trial to judge the metal of Lady Shah's initiates. This one would test their ability to navigate her sacred darkness. We got it. Navigate the darkness to feel my embrace. Oh, I didn't realize Shadowheart could like speak to the statues. Um So when we first came in here, there was lights on each of the statue, but that's not the case anymore. Perhaps you are not worthy of my embrace, child. Ouch. No, I'm just trying to do it again. Alright. There we go. What? I was hit for one slashing damage? By who? Did you guys see that? What the heck? Oh, you know what it was. It was because Shadowheart cut herself to offer her blood. And then she got hit by slashing damage. That's uh, hilarious. Wow. Okay, so what we need to do then... See, I thought we needed to stop at each of these. Because there's darkness at the very end that I can't seem to pass. 
Hmm. Uh, I think I'm doing something wrong. There we go. I can pass it now. I don't know what was going on the first time. All right. The inner sanctum is within reach now. Perfect. That was probably a little bit more difficult than it needed to be, but we have now completed all of the trials, I think. Or I think there was one more. Didn't she mention something about a library on our last episode? She being Shadowheart. Let's just use our short rests here. So we can go C. We'll F5 save. Let's see. Yeah, there is one other door over here. There's a weird sort of barrier around it, though. Oh! When you walk in, you get silenced because it's a silent library! Interesting! Oh, that's gonna make this really hard! That is not ideal. Jimmy on the go. I mean, you think we're gonna make a little bit of noise once we start fighting, but all right. Guess we gotta do this the old-fashioned way. No spells. Just crossbows. On the plus side, the Dark Justiciers are also silenced. It would be- it would suck if, you know, they weren't and we were, but at least we're on an even playing field. Just a good time to work on our, uh, on our ranged attacks, that's all. Divine Strike Poison. Once per turn, deal 1 to 8 poison damage in addition to your weapon's 3 to 8 bludgeoning damage when you make a melee attack. We're gonna do that. Oh, I don't- seriously? I don't have enough movement? I'm that far away from him? <laughs> okay. I was like too far away for a melee attack and too close for a ranged attack. That was lame. Yeah, this is really not ideal. I wish we could just fireball down here, you know? I'm missing my magic already. Yeah, we gotta get rid of that portal. That's gotta be priority number one. I think I'm actually gonna get Carlac to head down that way. Oh, the aura is actually called the Librarian. I think that's what's exuding the Silence Aura, so if we can get that down, we might actually be able to use our spells again. Yeah, that's what we have to do, I think. Let's quiet this librarian. This should work. Now the thing here is, is we're getting really close to killing the librarian. But I'm worried when we do, all these guys will have access to their abilities. So we'll have to be careful. Necrotic appendage. <laughs> A necrotic appendage. It's quite the insult.
Yeah, I think not only does it provide the silence aura, but I think it's also uh, summoning more more guys. So that definitely had to go and go it did. So now, can we get a fireball? Fireball. <laughs> No shadow hurt. Hmm. We've got lots of options here. I think I'm just going to go healing. Mass healing ward. Nice. And then. Guiding bolt on one of these guys. Time to deal some punishment. Nice. Yeah, the shadows really don't like that. Fortunately, the fireball didn't do a ton of damage. Well, that's not true. It did a ton of damage on this guy, but not this guy. He must have hit a good saving throw. Nice! Wow, he could not hit Shadow Heart there. Works for me. Hang in there, Karlac. She is surrounded, but she is doing her best. And now's a good time for the cleave. Nice! Oh my god, she took out two in one hit! Three! Karlak, you're my girl! <laughs> that is awesome. Alright. Next up. Some distant whispers. Make him scared. I hate fighting undead with Asterion because he can't get that second ability in it with the bite. This is not really his forte. Asterion is not good against ghosts. Nice, that killed him, even though for some reason we didn't see the uh, actual attack animation, but that's fine. <laughs> I don't need an attack animation. One hit KO. Let's go. Shadow Heart's radiant ability is certainly coming in handy here. All right, there's only one left. Heading out. Just this guy. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Ooh, four HP. Can you finish him off, Starian? 
No, you can't. Womp womp. <laughs> That's too bad. Luckily, he's trying to shoot me with a crossbow from two feet away, so. All right, Shadowheart. Beauty. All right. So, we've cleared out the library. Let's see what was in here. I feel like Shadowheart said before that it's, um... Some sort of weapon? I think. It, it's been a it's been a while since she mentioned it to me. Okay, so that button is trapped. There's lots of buttons around. Are they all trapped? Hope your perception's better than Gladys's. That's trapped. That's trapped. Yeah, okay, there's a lot of traps in here. Everyone's perception is being put to the test. Oh my god! That was insane! A lightning bolt came out of nowhere! Holy moly! These are not just regular traps. These traps mean business. Despite everything. Ouch! Okay, we're not pressing that button again. Wish we were a little bit more perceptive. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Okay, that's trapped, that's trapped. Everything is trapped. How do I open this? Can I lockpick it? Right tool oh, maybe. Like. Who needs buttons when you've got lockpicks? Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, lightning bolts. I'm sure there was some trick to all that, but I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> okay. Someone's left a trap. Oh, there's lots of traps. And then what is this? Riddle of the Night. What can silence the night song? What can silence the night song? We must need to get a book and put it in there. Teachings of Loss, Own Secret. Lady Shar knows what you bury deep inside your spirit. She knows what pains you and gnaws away at your very being. Be open with her about your failings. Let her place the soothing hands of oblivion upon your wounds. Let her know you utterly so she can release you from your shackles. Yeah, okay, so I guess we're looking for a book. Yeah. Okay, what can kill the night song? Let's find out. Now, a lot of these bookshelves are trapped. The final sacrifice of something. It is said that the sacred spear was once wielded by the Night Singer herself and now awaits her chosen champion. The elders have placed it in a secret place, safe until its intended wielder discovers it. With it in hand, a final sacrifice can be made at last, and the foul moon with Saloon shall, shall weep bitter tears and forsake her misguided followers. But let no ambitious of the night be tempted to seize the spear for themselves, unbidden, for they shall find it in an inert bauble, stripped of its holy purpose. Let all of Lady Shiro's children be honored to protect the sacred instrument. When the time comes, they shall know they aided the progress of Lady Shar's destined warrior and help usher in a return to the endless ecstasy of oblivion. So that's what we're looking for here, I guess. Is this so-called sacred spear? We just need to find the right book. Tome of Faith Leap Trial. Your tongue may claim to have complete faith in Lady Shura, but does your heart follow suit? Dare you trust your instincts and navigate her sacred darkness with only your faith to protect you? For those who believe the darkness is a holy path that leads to the Night Singer's embrace. For those of weak faith, it shall become hungry, pitiless maul, intent on swallowing you whole. Tread only where Lady Shar bids you to, and you shall have nothing to fear. Okay, yeah, we already made it through that trial. There's lots of books around. Teachings of Loss, Dark Justicier. None can match the fervor and dedication with which the Dark Justiciers serve Lady Shar. They are her most loyal, most ruthless warriors, trained in her methods and imbued with her sacred doctrine. Each initiate must take the life of a Selenite before they can call themselves a Dark Justicier. That way, it can be said that every member of their ranks has already wetted their blade with the blood of Lady Shar's foes. Is this guy still alive? No, he's dead, but he died on his feet. Shout out to that guy. Teachings of loss, forgetting and loss. 
a dense tome written in an elegant script outlining the teachings of Shar. Loss teaches us the truth. In its void are we our purest expressions of ourselves. There is nothing nobler than to forget and to surrender oneself to the darkness. For that little grief that gets us there, the Dark Lady rewards us with the knight's internal embrace. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm running out of books. The only book that we found that wasn't trapped was like this one. The final sacrifice of the moon daughter. But I feel like that doesn't solve this riddle. What can silence the night song? Wait. Hmm. Teachings of loss, teachings of loss. I don't think there's any other books here. The only things left are on those booby trapped bookcases. I guess we could try to disarm them. There was nothing even in that one, and no trap to disarm. Hang on, let me check this one, though. Okay, we can disarm this one. Beautiful. What's in here? Tome of the Self-Same Trial. Okay, I don't think that's it either. A dusty tome advising Sharon initiates on how to please the Night Singer by succeeding the Self-Same Trial. Initiates must ensure they defeat their mirror image. Any violence meted out to others will be penalized. Disarming this one. Teachings of Lost, the Night Singer. What can silence the night song? Only the night singer herself, Shar, mistress of the night, lady of loss. Her names are many, but her purpose is simplicity itself. Light was a mistake and life is an illusion. A discordant song composed of lies breaking the peace of oblivion. Put your faith in Shar as your champion. Allow her to silence the false song in your heart and return you to her embrace. Nothingness is all you need. The eternal womb where you are safe in the darkness with Mother Shar. Sounds honestly very spooky, but I think... That's what we need to solve this riddle. Let's hope we're right. If not, those traps are gonna go off. Silence the night song. The night singer. Whew! We did it! Whoa. Here we are. Spear of night. Guess we'll let Shadowheart pick this up. This has to be it. This has to be the Spear of Night. The weapon Lady Shah bid me to wield. Here's also some Dark Justicier half plate. There's a plaque. Deliver the Night Mother's mercy upon her enemies. A gilded chest. Oops, I didn't mean to open that vase. Dark Justicier Helmet. Another plaque. Shroud yourself in blackest night. Yeah, sure, we get it. <laughs> Trust your secrets to the night. This place seems really culty, doesn't it? All right, well, there you have it. So we have officially completed the Gauntlet of Shar, and Shadow Heart has her uh, sacred weapon that apparently Lady Shar told her to come find. So on our next episode, we can use all of the umbral orbs that we found to descend to the very depths of the Gauntlet of Shar, where apparently um, the relic that Cethric Thorm is using for his immortality is being kept. So we definitely want to go take a look at that. Thank you everyone so much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll be back again soon for some more Baldur's Gate 3.